How do you upload a document to your Squarespace website? You might have noticed that on the left-hand side, inside of your website assets, it really only lets you upload videos and images. What we need to do is go to Pages. And inside of Pages, in the Not Linked section, we could add a new page, quote unquote, and then scroll down and you'll see Link. So you can link to external sites or pages. But what we can do is actually drop this down and instead of a URL, we can add a file. So when we click file, we can actually upload a file to our website. So we click this upload button and now we can select something like a PDF and upload it. And so when we upload that, there will be a link to that PDF that we can uh, then have basically on our website. And so you can add a link title to this if you want. Um, I'm gonna just say free PDF download maybe. You have like a, a lead magnet or something on your site and you can see the uploaded file down here. So then we can hit save. Now you can see that this link is right in here, which is actually the PDF or the free PDF download. So you can take this page, if you will, and actually link to it. So now let's say that this was a download button out here. So I could go edit my site and maybe I'll even add a button for instance. And so now this will be the download button and I can link this button. So we click edit link and we can actually do the same thing here. So click on this, drop down, go to file and find that file and select it and use that as the link. So it would be, I think I also had check mark there open in a new tab, but it would basically be like a download of that file or being able to view that file and then download. And so that's how you can really upload documents to your site and then use them within your site, whether you're linking them or making them available for preview. If you want to, you don't have to go to pages to access the link upload. You can see here that as I linked this button, I could actually, um, well, we just clicked on that PDF, but as I linked this button, I can actually go in there and edit that and remove the link or edit the link. And if I edit, well, I don't need to edit that, but I can remove the link. And as we remove it, we can then attach another. And so we can actually upload a file right here. If I click file, you can see that we can upload something new. So if you go ahead and make your site, you don't have to go to pages. You can actually maybe make a button and then upload the file right to that button. So that might be a little bit easier way of managing it. But that's how you can upload documents to your Squarespace website.